now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Well, all morning long, Marcus, we've been talking about how change is in the air, uh -huh. literally. And I took your advice when I went home for my break. I got a second jacket. Yeah, it was too cold with just absolutely. Mine. It's cold out there and the mist and drizzle continues and it's hard to believe that yesterday I was in a t-shirt. Yes, we were in the 80s. <sighs> I miss it already. I, I think I do a little bit too. <laughs> I, I do like the kind of up and down weather pattern that we deal with, and that's going to be the case for us again for this week, Cynthia. Now we do have a tornado watch that is in effect, and that goes until six o'clock this evening. That's going to be for our southeastern area. So you notice Shelby, San Augustine, and Sabine County, you're under that watch as we have the potential of a couple of storms that might be able to rotate. Doesn't mean that we will see widespread storms. The rest of us, we're going to be okay. The cold front coming through Nacogdoches and Angelina counties. Now, here's where the greatest threat of severe weather will be across Louisiana, heading over into Mississippi. This is a widespread tornado watch that's in effect, and the severe outlook for today has been upgraded. We were talking about an enhanced risk. That's the area of orange, but now something that's rare, a moderate risk, which means numerous severe storms will be possible across far eastern Louisiana, heading over toward Jackson, Mississippi. That's where the things will get dicey a little bit later on. For us, it's about the colder temperatures for nearly all of us and that small, strong thunderstorm chance over deep east Texas. Let me take you off, though, to the northwest because we are keeping an eye on some areas of rainfall that are moving through. You can notice this batch of heavier precipitation. And let me just stop here just for a moment. That way we can see this because you notice here some heavier bands of reflectivity. Could have some small hail in this in northern parts of Wood County. Could it turn severe? for the threat for some hail. Absolutely not out of the question there, but this is in the colder air, so this should not be significant, but some small hail within that is not out of the question. A couple of showers also across our central areas. The focus is going to turn toward deep east Texas here in the next one to two hours as these storms move in a more favorable environment, so that's the location that we do want to keep an eye on. Temperatures in the 40s and some 30s and notice deep east Texas in the lower to mid 70s. Still quite warm there as the cold front continues to move down to the southeast. So that's our area of focus as we have that northwest wind starting to move on in. Future cast does show a couple of these storms might try to get their act a little bit more together in the next one to two hours. But after about two or three o'clock, that storm chance is over and that watch should drop very quickly a little bit later on this afternoon for the rest of today. Temperatures staying into the 40s and the 50s, even some 30s. We'll still have some off and on areas of rainfall possible, but tomorrow morning it's even colder down to near 30. A feels like temperature wind chill into the mid and lower 20s. It'll be even colder tomorrow morning as a north wind picks up. So a frost is not likely, but a freeze is expected for tomorrow. That frost chance increases Wednesday and Thursday mornings. More sunshine tomorrow and especially Wednesday as we go back up into the 50s. There is a slight rain chance as we get toward our Friday and in deep east Texas. That's where we're still going to be keeping an eye on some thunderstorms through the early afternoon. It'll clear up a little bit later on today.